Welcome back. Today we're going to look at building your first table with uh, the basic skills we've been working on. I use this in my Excel course as a uh, first assignment, so it's kind of written like an assessment a little bit. When we get done, I want the table to kind of look like what I have here. Uh, but for now, we'll just start. I typed in what I want. I want a a title, a subtitle, um, I'll have a header row, I'm going to measure my growth in my four um, uh, platforms, and then I'm going to total. So I'll just start here on the headers. I'm going to do this by quarter. So I have quarter one. Now I can just hit the check, grab the fill handle, and I have my four quarters. Uh, Excel fills that in for me. Um, next, I want to manually enter my formula. So for, I'm going to use the tab, tab, enter that we went over before. So I'll type in 60, I'll tab over, I'll tab over, I'll tab over. When I get to the end, I'll hit return. And notice that brings me from the fourth row down to the fifth row right at the beginning of my column. So it makes it sli slightly easier. And I'll just do the same thing. Tab, tab, enter. Uh, two more times, quick. And finally for TikTok. All right, so I have my data in. Uh, the next thing we want to do is sum by quarter. So we'll do a summation. We looked at the auto sum button in the editing box of the home tab. So either I could do it by using auto sum here and then I could grab the fill handle and bring that over or an even easier way uh, would be to select the range I want sum and then I hit the auto sum button and it's intelligent enough it does all those at once for me. All right, so let's pretty it up a little bit. Again, we have words to the left and numbers to the right. It kind of makes an ugly column. So we want to pretty that up a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to select uh, my quarters and I'm going to go to the alignment box and hit center. Um, I could have done it all at once and done the numbers at the same time. But again, I'm going to hit center here and everything's going to be aligned. Uh, another thing I want to do is I want my uh, my title to go across all my columns. So I'm going to select from A1 to E1 and I'm going to hit center and merge. I'm going to do the same thing from A2 to E2. I'm going to center and merge. All right, so we're on a roll right now. We're doing pretty good. Um, next thing I want to do is add a little bit of white space because what we're really trying to do with, with charts and graphs is make them visually appealing to our readers. Um, so I'm going to bring row two, make it about twice the width of all the other rows. And then with the alignment, I'm going to top a line. And that gives me a nice white space there to uh, kind of set off things a little bit. So that's the basics. Then we can do what I call extra credit um, with a little bit of, of simple formatting to make it even look sharper. So I'm going to select on my titles. I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to set the font to 14. So everybody knows that's the title. I'm going to go down <clears throat> uh, to my subtitle. I'm going to increase this to 12 and I'm going to make it italic by clicking on the I button. Again, that allows everybody to see what's going on. Another formatting option which I want to use is I'm going to select from A3 to E3 and from the the font box, I'm going to choose the bottom border button. Again, that kind of offsets uh, what I'm trying to do here. 
Now I'm going to take the A and make it about one and a half times. That way I could take my totals and I'm going to left uh, right center them so it kind of offsets it so people know what's going on. Um, a couple really other handy things is I'm actually going to make my um, header less prominent. So I'm going to go to the color here and I'm going to shoot, choose a sh shade of gray to kind of hide it in the background. Because again, what I'm really trying to do is I want to draw the reader to the important information. And here, the most important number is this 295. We want to show the growth of our social media campaign over the past four quarters. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to use a simple background. I'm just going to do yellow. So what that does for me is when the CEO of your company is looking for social media growth, he doesn't have to hunt around a busy uh, chart. His eyes focus right on 295 and we are done. So that's a simple uh, way to do it. Um, thank you for watching. And next up, we're going to do absolute cell references.